As a truck driver, you're not just a highway warrior, covering mile after mile of open road. You're also a master of tight maneuvers in parking lots, around docks, and through narrow spaces. One of the biggest challenges in these settings is avoiding fixed objects like cars, other trucks, poles, and signs. Hitting a fixed object can happen quickly, and it's easy to underestimate how tricky these confined spaces can be. But with the right approach and some helpful tips, you can avoid these costly mistakes. Remember, a bit of caution in tight spaces can go a long way. Know your space. Think of navigating a parking lot or a loading area as piecing together a complex puzzle. Each move has to be carefully planned so all parts fit together smoothly. The space around you might look simple, but hidden obstacles and tight spots can turn it into a minefield if you're not prepared. Before you even start moving, take a few moments to look around. Get a mental layout of the lot or the dock, noting any potential hazards like low-hanging signs, parked cars, or those sneaky poles that love to lurk right where you need to turn. This initial look around can save you a lot of stress, and a potential insurance claim, later. With a solid mental map, you'll be less likely to be surprised by something hidden in your blind spot. The importance of goal. Get out and look. One of the most important strategies you can use is something as simple as stepping out of your truck. GOAL stands for, get out and look, and it's a guideline that every trucker should use when dealing with tight spaces. When you're backing into a dock or maneuvering in a crowded lot, taking the time to get out and look can save you from costly accidents. Here's how goal helps. Better visibility. No matter how many mirrors and cameras you have, nothing beats the clarity of your own eyes. When you get out, you're able to see the actual distance between your truck and any fixed objects. Reduced stress. When you're backing up, especially in a tricky spot, there can be a lot of pressure to finish the maneuver quickly. Practicing gold gives you a moment to reset and refocus on your backing maneuver. Avoiding surprises. Parking lots and loading docks often have obstacles that aren't immediately visible from your seat. Getting out gives you a chance to notice those low curbs, straight carts, or short poles that might be hiding just out of view. Think of goal being like putting on your X-ray vision goggles. When you step outside, you're arming yourself with more information, giving you an advantage before you get back behind the wheel. Keep your angles wide. When maneuvering in a lot or backing into a dock, take wide angles. It's no surprise that semi-trucks need a lot of space when turning or backing into spots. Here, precision is key. A wider approach to your turns and entries allows you to get the trailer aligned properly without needing to make constant adjustments, which could increase your risk of hitting a nearby object. When parking your rig, try to find a spot that you can pull into and out of easily when possible. If you have to back into a parking space or you're preparing to back up into a dock, line yourself up by pulling forward at an angle that sets you up for a straight shot into the spot. Think of it like setting up a domino chain. Every move you make is setting up the next one, so a good initial angle can make the whole maneuver smoother. Your side mirrors are your best friends when backing up in a parking lot or terminal location. They give you valuable information about what's happening alongside and behind you. Use your mirrors to check every angle, especially when backing up. Take it slow, and make it a habit to alternate between mirrors every few seconds. When parking, it's easy to rely too much on your left or right side mirrors, but remember to switch between them frequently. This constant scanning will help you spot any potential hazards before they become a problem. When it comes to parking lots, terminals and loading docks, slow and steady really does win the race. Speed might work on the highway, but in a tight parking lot, speed can be a recipe for disaster. When you slow down, you have more time to react to surprises and make careful adjustments. 
You're aiming for precision rather than speed, because when it comes to navigating tight spaces, precision always comes out on top. It's tempting to rush through parking lots or freight terminals, especially when you're on a schedule. But remember that each extra minute spent being cautious can save you hours of headache and potential costs later. Hitting a fixed object, even if it's a minor bump, can lead to unnecessary repairs, downtime, and paperwork. Try treating each location like a new puzzle, even if you've been there many times before. Things might have changed since you were there last. Don't rush through your movements and try to practice the goal principle each time you have to back up. With the right approach, you'll handle tight spaces like a pro, leaving each lot with your truck and your reputation intact.